Hey guys, Adam here. Welcome to the Naughty Escape, where this channel is all about doing anything nautical on the water and escaping from your everyday life stresses, work, school, whatever you have going on. So before we end up doing this, if you like this, go ahead and subscribe, comment on what you like, what you want to see. This today is going to be a full review, personal opinion, that's all it is, on the Ribala R222. I've had this for about three months and Prior to purchasing this, I started doing some research online on The Whole Truth, H-U-L-L, Facebook. There's a Facebook group on there, which is amazing. They're all very helpful. Um, and I started YouTubing because I wanted to get actual like video. That, I hate to say it, YouTube's kind of replaced Google as far as getting any research done or how-tos. Um, but I didn't see anything. It, it was nothing but salesmen after salesmen after salesmen, you know, trying to push it. And I get it. That's their job. They have to make a living but I want a full review. I want to know what the cons are to buying this boat as well as the pros. Because it doesn't matter what you buy, it doesn't matter what boat, you could buy a car, Ferrari, doesn't matter what it is, there's always gonna be some issues with it, no matter what. If you have a good dealership, they'll take care of you. Um, that being said, I will give the credit out. Uh, they don't know I'm doing this video. They I don't sponsor me, I'm just some random customer. Um, I bought my boat from Orlando, uh, Dealer's Choice Marine. Justin Ray, Lisa, they were the best to deal with. It made the experience so wonderful. Because when you're putting so much money into buying something, putting yourself in debt, 60, 70, 80 thousand dollars, you're gonna be sweating bullets if you're a middle class worker like I am. Um, if, you, if you can pay cash, then kudos on the baller status. However, um, there was no pressure whatsoever. It's kind of like a car dealership, you know, where they come at you like piranhas. None of that was there. He was laid back, he was honest, he gave you his full opinion um, because he drives the boats, he test drives them all the time, and he let the boat sell itself. And we ended up doing a test drive before I even put money down or anything, and which has made me really want this boat. But there are a few issues with it, and before you decide to purchase, you need to make sure you know what you're getting in with and what your actual specialties are, what you're gonna be doing with your boat. And that's what this is gonna be. So if you like it, like I said, Go ahead and subscribe. There's gonna be more videos. Tell me what you like, what you want to see, and what you don't like so I can fix it. Other than that, let's go. guys we're out on the water um i don't know if you can actually hear the motor running it's still turned on I, i'm sure the camera doesn't do it too much justice but it's a four stroke it's quiet as can be um like i said i came from another boat a ski boat it was kind of louder i think it was a four stroke too but not nearly as quiet as this so let me go ahead and show you this right now the r200 is a 20 foot center console ribala that they have this is the r222 it's two feet bigger at least it's supposed to be Originally, it's actually 21.6 inches. It's only 11 inch difference between the two 20 foot model and the 22 foot model. Now, what I want to tell you is this. The 20 foot models are automatically going to be at the dealerships with the 150 motors. The 22 foot ones typically have the 200. If you look under the throttle, and I'm going to show you in just a second, it's rated for, and this is the 22 foot model, rated for the 250 motor, the 20 foot boat is rated for the 200. I'm telling you right now, depending on what you're going to do, if you're going to be out on the lakes or anything like that, fine, go with what it, they come with. If you plan on going out in the ocean, if you're going to have a bunch of people on there, go with the upgraded motor that it's actually rated for because I promise you, you're going to regret it in the long run just to save a few extra dollars on your payments and it's not going to be worth it because you're going to be underpowered. Um, because that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to save money because when I started looking at the prices, it was over $70,000 for this. Um, with the T-top, all, all the shebangs are going on with it. But 
everybody, it was unanimous on the Rebalo Facebook side that everybody's bought before. They all say they regret it or they should have upgraded to the higher one. So that's what I did. I started listening to other people who actually have better and more experience in this. Um, it says on here for the 222 foot model, 10 people max, 1,445 pounds. Have you done the math on that? Hey, no way in hell that's gonna be that, especially here in America where, you know, fat is now politically correct for average. Um, unless you got a whole bunch of midgets on this boat, there ain't no way you're putting 10 people on here, especially out in the ocean. Um, you'll be lucky if you can get four or five on a comfortable, calm day out in the ocean if you're fishing. Otherwise, it's gonna be too crowded anyways. So let me go ahead and show you that where it's at so you know where to look for if you're at the dealership. And then we're gonna go around through the rest of the boat telling you uh, what it has, what it doesn't have, what it should have, what it could have, all that crap. All right, let's go. All right, like I was saying, just under the uh, throttle mechanism right here, it says 10 person or 1,445 pounds. And then right here, it is rated for the 250 motor. Have you guys done the math on 10 persons, 1,445 pounds? Uh, it's 144.5 pounds. I don't know how many people weigh 145 pounds unless you got a bunch of little kids on here. Um, so it, it, there's just no way in hell that's going to happen. But I think it's more of a selling point. Um, and, and it's not Rabalo that does it. It's every single uh, boat company. They want you to say that you can put more people on here. Yeah, you can fit them in here. If you're going out on the lake, it's not a big deal. You're not dealing with a bunch of chop or anything on calm days. Um, and I'm just walking through here so you actually have something to look at while you listen to my annoying voice. Um, but if you're going to go out in the ocean, don't even bother. You're lucky if you can get maybe four, maybe five people out. If you're actually doing fishing, bottom fishing, casting out or anything, uh, even that for this 22 foot boat is going to be pretty tight and it's going to turn into a cluster mess. Um, I don't know if you can hear that right now. Either way, I'll get some footage. I got the drone out here. Um, I will say, and let me turn this around real quick, that the dealership I got this from was Orlando Dealer's Choice Marine. Now, they don't know I'm doing this video. I didn't, they didn't ask me. I didn't even ask them if they wanted me to. But I will say, as far as dealerships go, they went above and beyond making sure that everything went smoothly. Um, I had this boat made from the factory in Georgia, and it took about a month and a half, two months, uh, to get it through here, and, and that's fine. But when it came, I was supposed to have that bench seat. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Um, it didn't come with it and it took about three weeks almost a month for it to come back that they knew that i was frustrated and it's not their fault um they're not in charge of all that is they didn't charge me for the 20 hour service and i didn't even have to ask or anything they did that voluntarily i with the trailer i overextended the jack on there um messed up the bearings i needed a new one i posted it up on the facebook Rebalo site and if you don't think that your dealer is not uh monitoring that you're wrong because that's exactly what they did um wasn't gonna ask for them to replace it or anything it was my fault um i'm new at all of this so that's why i posted up trying to figure out if i can fix it myself or if somebody else had the issue i didn't even know how much they were they're only like 34 or 35 dollars but they saw it um when i was calling them to do my 20 hour inspection they already had a brand new one waiting for me i said how did you know and lisa she's a sweetheart i'll tell you that um she said we saw it on your facebook post and it's still under warranty everything so we just went ahead and got you one they didn't even call me to tell me they were getting one that's when i called they were waiting for me to hear from me um so i want to say thank you and a big shout out to them so if you end up go if you're in the central florida area or anything like that go over there um and they'll help you out and like i said i hate dealerships with a passion i can't stand them but they are completely laid back as can be. You can BS with them and you don't have to worry about them just trying to make a sale. All right, anyways, now that I'm off my rant for that, um, let's get some good footage of this, going out on the water, getting some top speeds, all of that. All right, let's get some speeds up on here. Oh, by the way, the Simrad, this is something I don't think every dealership does it, but I will say the dealership that I worked with, they actually provide that at no extra charge. That's just their pretty much appreciation for using them to buy with them. All right, 
So last time I was able to get this up to about 51 miles an hour with the 250. And I'm gonna show you right here. See where the trim is? And I hope you can see it through the phone because I got a glare with the sunlight. When we get full speed, it is scary how much you have to trim up with it. So let's see what we can get. So we got the hard top on here. Um, it's pretty heavy. So actually, if you get the soft top, you'll probably actually get a little bit more speed out of that, if that's what you're looking for. Like I said, if you're going out in the ocean, <laughs> speed ain't what you're looking for, that's for sure. Um, you're looking for more durability. But you got your fish box, your ice box is here. Um, actually, that side's empty. They did give us a Coast Guard kit, and that's completely full right there. So does come with the anchor as well so Jesus I feel like I'm a salesman right now because it's exactly what they've been going over with um, you're gonna have some issues with it I've got a chip right here just a little bubble and they'll actually fix all of that so that's part of the warranty this is absolutely the best thing forever these tow rails that's useless and there's no way I mean yeah it's an advertisement thing I get it but you're really never ever ever gonna need them um, unless you just use it to kind of put your flip-flops on the side, which is what I did. But here is your bench. This is the one thing that I was waiting for for about a month. It is amazing, and I'm not trying to hump the damn seat, but just show you that it comes up. I'm six foot. Um, it does come up to my high thigh, so if you are fighting some, you know, huge giant fish that's bigger than your boat, um, at least you have something to lean up against. And you just pop it up if you want to sit down in the back where you got family. Not a big deal. That's actually pretty cool. And I, I love the fact that you can actually, again, put it up and you have a lot more walking space through here. Fish finder does come with blue lights all the way around. Um, I did put my own VHF radio in here. Um, I think I got it on Amazon. Anyways, I love the boat. I absolutely love it. It comes with four speakers. You got to have music. So, they are good. You can listen to your music at full speed. You are gonna have to turn down the bass and turn up the treble though. Um, otherwise you're just gonna burn out the, uh, blow out the speakers. Unless you end up getting some upgraded ones. I know <coughs> there's different uh, websites putting them out. But that is my review of it. I absolutely love it. The only thing that I'm not the biggest fan of right now is where your steering wheel is it's in dead center of the console um i guess i don't know maybe for bigger people this is america we're all pretty fat now um but it, it's awkward if you have somebody sitting to your right side because i'm in dead center and now you're gonna have somebody standing in the way of your throttle so even if you have them on the left side it's still gonna end up getting in your way with some turning left right they're gonna be getting elbowed the whole time. So this is pretty much a single person. Um, if you're just sitting around, yeah, you can have two people on there. You can fit probably three people there. Um, I can actually lay out all the way being six foot through here. Not a big deal. Um, if you wanna put a cooler right here with a thing, you can actually lay out all the way. Um, one person here, you can put three. Four, I guess up on the front where I'm sitting right now so but then again that's also just for your everyday lake water just go out have some Sun jump in the water fishing um, fresh water 
um, not in the ocean, that's for sure. But everybody's got their own uh, comforts when it comes to boating. I thought this was cool. So it does come with a little extra storage in here. Not too much, but if you want to put your shirt or anything like that. And you can pick it all up. Get you all your wiring back there. Or if you want to make it more dry storage, I guess. Um, it did come with a porta potty. There's a, I put an extra anchor right there as well too. Actually, I'll just open it up for you. You can use it for more dry storage. It's got a bucket. So here, this is pretty cool. You open it up. You have some dry storage. It comes with a porta potty. I took it out. Oh, that's my girl. Let's get a girl. That's awesome. If you're. I took it out. It's completely useless. I guess it's cool just to say you have one, but unless you got little kids on there, you, you're never gonna use it. It just gets in the way, and you gotta pick it up. You gotta clean it up. It's nasty. Just go chum the water and jump in and take a crap. Um, yeah, I guess that's more for the guys, and women. If you're on longer cases if you're not comfortable doing that then sure utilize that porta potty all you can all right so that's about it as far as this stuff i know you guys are probably get annoyed listening to my voice because i don't like it either so let's get some uh, drone footage out on the water